Hey everybody and welcome to the show. Let's get to a little bit of video of what I did last week and that was plastering a wall. My setup is pretty easy. I arrive at the job site, um, let myself in, gather some of my equipment together so that I can then make some plaster and get this day started. It's all pretty simple. You just follow the directions on the bag and you just make up as you use the plaster. So you're not going to make up too much right away, just enough. And then we bring the plaster inside and this wall I had prepped before. So yeah, we brought it all the way back to the base block that was on the wall. And here we are putting our first coat on. This is uh, what is most known as a scratch coat. So it's something you want to apply and let dry. And then you can apply your top coat to that, which will be much more smooth. So as you can see here, I'm working uh, bottom to top. This is not a tutorial, by the way. This is just for fun. This is something I do um, between painting and gaming. I may do some plastering, I may do some, uh, you know, plumbing work, electrical work, I do all kinds of things. So I just wanted to share with you uh, some of my week and didn't want you all to uh, follow these directions. If I state any directions, they're not really directions. It's just how I do it. Now you can see me here starting a little bit of the wall and then realizing I think that it was looser, the, the, uh, the, uh, the metal was looser on the wall than I wanted it to be. You want it to be relatively pretty tight so I had to come back up with some screws and I screwed it into the Adobe brick that you see. Um, by the way I used um, drywall screws which were super effective. And then I realized, of course, they drive themselves into uh, rock all day long. Uh, it's just a powdered form. So it's uh, very similar to this adobe wall. Um, we use longer nails throughout to hang the wire mesh. This is just to tighten it up a little bit here and there. So no bounce equals a good base. Okay, so we're running through this pretty quick, but uh, you know, some of the footage was lost. What do you expect? I'm my cameraman, I'm my everything man. So um, basically, uh, I started, you know, finishing this up, and you can see there, left part, looking good. <clears throat> and uh, right here, I'm just putting on the uh, final little bit of area just to show you that this actually does happen. And then sponge it down and just make it look real good luckily around here it's New Mexico it's a very rough hewn kind of wall so it makes it a little bit easier for artists like myself you know final coat on this wall was just as easy as the other wall just short of I had to keep climbing up and down to finish makes a much more slower process but things get done just spend some time on it and it will get finished you know I think some of the most fun parts and and it's like a delicate dance that you play with the concrete you have a certain amount of square feet that you can do you do as much as you can you have to keep making mud I think I made four buckets of mud to do this whole process on the last coat so you have to keep timing it out and when it sets up just right is when you sponge it so it's a it's a really delicate process that I think uh, over time you figure out and you just do and you keep you know seeing how the mud is really seeing how the, the, the plaster is 
around the windows. It's a very slow process because there is a wood beam, as you can see there. But hey, you just keep trudging forward, and then we're on to cleanup. Cleanup is fun for me because it takes a dirty job and makes it a happy job. <clears throat> That's something my pop would say back in the day. A, ha a clean job is a happy job. And uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. I really want to thank each and every one of you for showing up. So I'd really I'd like to give a special appreciation to my patrons. You guys coming in super clutch. It's unbelievable how you support the arts. You support this silly gaming channel. And sometimes that I'm out here just, you know, proving my construction skills. I'd like to thank Bearded Gay Guy, Jennifer Hudson Gorman, Junior Sim Racing, Boomer League, and we have two new patrons this month, Cutie Otter and TJC Gaming. Thank you both. Thank you all very much. I appreciate each and every one of you, and we'll see you on the next one.